everybody this is going to be day one that we're going to do a 30-day uh, challenge or project and um, I'm going to use both mixed media and junk journal things to do with this project so what we're going to do is 30 days so each day is going to have little small projects so by the end we actually have a variety of things and we will have made a journal okay so day one what you're going to need is an old book, just an old book, one that's not being used. Um, this can be for advanced people to just tag along if you like, follow along, enjoy the ride. Or it could be for people who've never ever made a junk journal or a book before themselves. So the first thing we're going to do is notice that this um, is all coming apart. That's not going to, going to matter for now. If you want, we could glue this down. I'm not going to touch that for now. What we're going to do on day one here is we're going to get a knife. And you can see here's the, the, where the signatures are joining. And we're going to very slowly and carefully cut through. So there will be this webbing as well at the back. None of this, you know, you can be a perfectionist about this. However, everything can be fixed. So it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. All right, so you can see I'm cutting through. This has a particularly um, thick lot of webbing. It's all the backs of the pages and a very thick lot of glue. So, so some books are easier. Some books you can just run it down and it's super easy and it comes apart. This one's actually turning out to be quite difficult. Possibly this is the, um, the way it's bound. Let's just try and keep our work area now um this actually i got a whole heap of these <laughs> there's actually mouse poo falling out of this i got them from the second hand shop <laughs> gross okay so um yes <laughs> let's be be careful and mindful about that sort of thing <laughs> all right so we've separated the front <laughs> So I'm having a bit of a chuckle about that. That's actually sort of funny. I've got th three more books um, in this series and I'm wondering if they've all just got mouse poo in the back of them. <laughs> How did the mice get down in there? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. I quite like this old paper. Um, and this book has... You know, it just has not too much in the way of illustration, but it's got the odd little bit. And we can use those as well later. And I particularly like this. <laughs> okay, back to the task at hand. I've just folded back the front cover to get it out of the way a bit. This is probably, uh, to be honest, this is probably one of the hardest ones to get a part of done. But they really did a good job of joining that. Some just come apart so easily. Okay, so this has come off. That's not going to matter. We can sort that out. So, part one, you've separated this. Now, I'm going to try and make these only um, 30 minutes, maybe. Um, little projects. So... They're designed to not overwhelm you if you've never done this before. Just getting the mouse poo off the table. <laughs> so now we have what people um, often use as a gluing book and throwing away. What we're going to do is add together many different things. <clears throat> well, I, I particularly like this paper. A 
Okay, so now that I've torn the front and the back covers off, I'm going to reserve those for a bit later. I just wanted to have one quick little conversation about copyright. So this book was uh, copyright 1955. Prior to 1930-ish, um, most things are out of copyright. Some things aren't if it's still owned by the family. So it, making a junk journal is using up old stuff. It's about recycling, it's about upcycling. And so there are elements of junk journaling where you have to watch out that you're not breaking copyright. And generally, it's okay to use this because generally you're making your own journal for yourself, your own junk journal, and it's your own diary. So it's at home, it's not being sold, you're not on selling an artist's work. Um, in terms of these, I really, I really would love to paste them onto a backing and photocopy them to use in the, in the, in the journal. This is okay if it's my own journal. It's not okay if you're selling it because this is taking a direct photocopy of a copyrighted person's artwork and then making money from it. Of course, you can buy the rights or you can um, speak to the artist. If you knew the artist, you could speak to them. They may give you permission. Some artists do, a lot don't, because, you know, let's face it, as artists, we're not always earning the big, big bucks. So uh, we don't really want someone else profiting off our artworks if, we, uh, if we're not making any money much ourselves. Anyway, so now what we've got, we've got the two end papers, we've got a book cover, and we've got the inner workings of the book. Now we can pull out a page and there are many things we can do with the page. Uh, what this is all about is about recycling. So we want to try and use as much as possible. Okay, so there's a couple of things you can do. And I, and I know that if someone's um, already done all this, that this might be a little bit... Um, beginner basic but I wanted to aim it to be a project that anyone could do and join in you know it's just just join in and have some fun okay. so what we can use with these pages is we could make an envelope which would require us to cut down the side and glue the sides um, it could just be um, a pocket like this. Same thing, we could glue down the sides. So let's do a couple of those and then your project really is to go on and make a few if you like. Make, make a couple of them. A variety of different um, things. Now let's have a look. I like that I like this, so we're going to look at text as well because there's um, something I love is looking at a page and seeing if there's a funny little sentence in there. So I like that, a funny mistake text there. So what I'd like to do is, um, okay, so sometimes with the paper there's going to be... Um, you know, sometimes it's it's old. This is reasonably thick paper, which is why it's pretty good for uh, an envelope. All right, so I've had to make a few extra folds with this. Okay, so this is going to be like that. Oh, here Wago, Freddie called and Bert whistled once more. Oh, see, I would have loved to have pulled that one out. <laughs> All right, I'm cutting off the edge. And 
what I'm going to do. You just need a, a glue that you can get a fine little dob with. Just a little thin amount down there, down one side. So we've instantly got a little envelope. Now if you want to, you could cut off two little points. Or I have, I don't know if you've got one, but I've got one. Um, you could use a corner puncher and round off the edges. It's entirely up to you. look at what we can do with this one. Uh, this glue is called um, Art Glitter Glue and it's got this little um, thing that keeps it from drying out. again you can just put a little bit of glue along there fold it up there. so here's two types of things you can make for your junk journal an envelope and a little pocket. Now with a little pocket there's a couple of things you could do. If you've got something, I've got a little tiny hole punch which does a little notch. I've got a much bigger hole punch. Um, sometimes this one's a little bit difficult. Uh, maybe I should have done it before I folded it. And there, that's a notch. Okay. So this is two ways we can make envelopes. So really the task for today is to use some of your book, some of your pages. It doesn't matter if you make four, it doesn't matter if you make 50, but make some page, use some of your pages to make these. And then we've got a start on our 30 days. I hope you have enormous fun with making some of those things and we will see you at day two tomorrow. Bye.